Before you begin, be sure that you have all of the parts required to install your device. Always disconnect power at the surface panel before beginning work. Once you turn off the power at the breaker, you can begin removing your old switch. Begin by unscrewing the wall plate from the wall. Next, unscrew your old device from the wall box, which should leave it only connected to the wall box by the wires. Before removing the wires from the device, make sure to label the wires. If your light is controlled by more than one switch or dimmer, you have a three-way installation, and you will need to determine which wire is common. It should be labeled as common or hot, or marked by an odd-colored screw. Once your wires are labeled, remove them from the device by unscrewing the terminal screw or by cutting the wires off of the terminal. Now your old device is completely removed, and you may start your adorn switch installation. There should be plastic inserts in the metal frame, which may or may not be necessary to your device. These are called spacers. If you are installing a wave switch, a touch switch, or a soft tap switch, you will need to remove these spacers. If you are installing the paddle switch, whisper switch, or push switch, they should be left in place. Spacers are removed by pinching the sides on the back of the frame and pushing them through the front. You should remove both spacers. Remember, only remove the spacers if you are installing a wave, touch, or soft tap switch. Consult the wire strip gauge located on the back of the device and strip all wires to the appropriate length. Attach the ground wire on the frame to the bare ground wire in the wall box. Mount the frame to the wall box using the screws provided, taking care not to scratch or mar the surface of your wall. Tighten the screws tight enough to hold the frame onto the wall, but do not over tighten. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminals. If you are wiring a three-way device, connect the wire previously identified as common to the terminal labeled hot. Then connect one wire to the terminal marked three-way and the final wire to the terminal marked one pole. If you are wiring a single pole device, attach one wire to the terminal marked one pole and the other wire to the terminal marked hot. If your device came with an Adorn locator light, or if you have purchased an Adorn locator light, you should connect it now. Follow the instructions provided with the locator light. Snap your device into the frame, pushing firmly until you hear a snap. If you are wiring more than one device in a 2-gang, 3-gang, or 4-gang configuration, Wire all of the devices before snapping any of them into the frame. If you must remove a device from the frame, you can do so by removing the frame from the wall box and depressing the four locking tabs with a flathead screwdriver as you push the device out of the frame. Once your device is snapped into place, you can place the wall plate over the frame, making sure to push firmly on the top, bottom, and both sides of the wall plate. Congratulations! Your adorned switch is installed.